Hey there, expecting moms. Today, I wanna to talk about something that's super important, obstructed labor. It's a term that might sound scary, but understanding it can really help ease some of that anxiety. So let's dive right in. First off, what exactly is obstructed labor? Simply put, obstructed labor happens when your baby can't make it through the birth canal despite strong contractions. This can be due to various reasons like the baby's position, the size of your baby, or even the shape of your pelvis. Now let's talk about the causes. One common cause is cephalopelvic disproportion. It sounds fancy, but it just means that the baby's head is too big to pass through the mother's pelvis. Another cause can be malpresentation, which is when the baby is in an unusual position, like breech or transverse, meaning the baby is sideways. Sometimes uterine abnormalities or having a narrow pelvis can also lead to obstructed labor. So how will you know if you're experiencing obstructed labor? Well, there are several signs and symptoms to look out for. Persistent strong contractions without any progress in labor is a big one. You might also feel extreme exhaustion or notice that your baby's head isn't descending into the birth canal. If your water has broken, but the labor isn't progressing, it could be a sign as well. If you suspect obstructed labor, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. Your healthcare provider may try a few different approaches. Sometimes changing your position or using tools like forceps or a vacuum can help. However, in many cases, a C-section might be necessary to safely deliver your baby. It's all about finding the safest route for both you and your little one. Remember, while obstructed labor can sound daunting, it's manageable with the right medical care. Your healthcare team is there to support you every step of the way. So don't hesitate to ask questions and express your concerns. All right, mamas, that's a wrap on obstructed labor. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding and a little peace of mind. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with other expecting moms. You've got this and you're not alone on this journey. Thanks for watching and take care.